where have you guys been? It's been three months. I I just I'm dumbfounded where you guys have been for the last three months. Oh, what's that? So I'm being told it's me that's been gone for three months. Oh well. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football here today. And today I just wanted to start the video off, simply put, where have I been in the last three months? Well, it all starts back in August and really probably like late July, July 31st maybe. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get straight to the chase. I mean, uh, I'm gonna just recap the last three months cause I've been gone on YouTube. Um, it's been very busy and I've had no time for YouTube. But the videos have still been around, so I just wanted to kind of come out here on Thanksgiving and just say, you know, all this, and, uh, you know, thank you guys for, you know, still being here as well. But uh, I might as well just start from the beginning and just explain myself. So, um, so on July 31st, um, and I, I did do a, um, I did a video about this, or I did a uh, live stream, so some of you know, but I did get the, the coronavirus. I did get COVID-19. Um, I was actually infectious on July 31st. Uh, it was a Saturday or a Sunday, I believe, or maybe a Friday night. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, it was a Friday night. Uh, so I showed the symptoms, um, was, had, had the high fever and whatnot. And the fever lasted for about 24 hours. And then I, that next morning, I woke up and I was like, I have to get tested because I was still like, I had a hundred and something fever. I'll take these out. That was just for comedic effect anyway. Um, but so me and my wife go get, uh, you know, tested. We could, we found a, you know, a testing center, uh, you know, here in town. We went there, got tested uh, on Saturday. Results came back um, on Monday. And, you know, we were supposed to, supposed to start football practice that same Monday. Uh, but we were, we were told we had to, you know, we had to, with, with, we had to basically be quarantined anyway because we had the fever and we showed these weird symptoms. So, you know, I missed basically the first 10 days of football. <clears throat> Consequently, um, after finding out we were positive on Monday, I was then quarantined for 10 days uh, with, I mean, I'm sure some of you guys kind of, if you've been quarantined, you understand the, the process, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was hard. I mean, there was a time there for um, that me and Amber, we basically slept in separate rooms. Uh, we didn't know who, like I was the infectious one. I had the symptoms first and she got them and then we both had it. So, I mean, it was kind of a, you know, it was obvious, you know, if you'd be around somebody, you know, you're going to pass it to the other person. So, you know, it is what it is. But, um, so there was a lot of things going on at the time, you know, we had, you know, football practice starting up. We had, um, you know, school about to start up too. school had been pushed back a little bit and didn't start till I think like the 23rd of August. <coughs> but, um, we start school or whatever. And basically after, my 10 days were up, um, and also consequently, our football team all had to quarantine. And not really all of, all the coaches had to quarantine, but uh, the kids didn't really. And we've went through our own um, uh, virus problems um, during the during the football season, so that that had its own uh, struggles as well. And I, I'm going to talk about those in a later video. But uh, so basically. We didn't do football. Our team just had to, you know, sit at the house. We, they had, they started, like, they started the first, they had two days of practice. I wasn't there for, um, and then, like, we basically shut down all the football operations um, at that point. Uh, from there, um, we got right in, after everybody was back, we got right into football, and it never slowed down. Um, I had videos that I had done uh, during the, virus time where I was, you know, sitting at the house. And so there's actually some videos of, uh, they're going to seem funny, but like, I'm going to upload them anyway. Cause I just never got to them. 
but like where I actually did a couple of videos where I was currently sick at the time. And so I did a couple, as crazy as it sounds, I did it. But um, basically once football season started and then school started the week after, we've been so busy. Um, and that's really what it was. Um, me and my wife have been busy every single day. Um, Thanksgiving week here was like the only time we've actually had time where we've been at the at our house for more than 24 hours um and that's just saying like you know there was always something to do uh whether that was you know it was it was football related where it was going to practice it was going to school on saturdays we watched film um you know and and did all the film breakdown stuff that you normally do as coaches on saturday um and then basically after Saturday uh, football, I was done. Like, I was just like, like, you take the whole week, all right? Normally Saturday, we would do, like, our live streams. And so we would get, I'd get done around noon. You know, it's not a whole lot of time you spend on football. But basically after that time, I wouldn't do anything for the rest of the day and then pick up on Sunday uh, where I left off on, on Saturday. And so I would just basically do nothing for several hours until I went to bed. Many times I'd just go to sleep, um, you know, in the middle of the day and was just was so drained. Um, and, and then having to also, you know, be a part of school as well and still teach all the classes I still teach, um, as well as having to teach kids that aren't in school, teach them virtually, so it's like, I normally teach four classes in a day, um, but like it basically got doubled when kids went to uh, virtual school. And so I've been, you know, pretty much Sunday was my day to do football. It was a day to make sure uh, like lesson plans are done in school and I, the kids know what we're doing. I mean, I teach science. It's not like I teach PE or something. It's easy. Um, like, I mean, we, it's, it's real. Um, so, so it's been hard. Uh, it's been really hard to, uh, balance all that. And so YouTube has kind of just taken, um, a back seat, unfortunately. And I know I wanted to come back. I'm going to be starting up Vlogmas again to kind of just, uh, make up on content as well as come out with regular content as it goes. Um, just trying to do a little bit at a time, I'm not trying to go overboard. I'm not trying to have a video schedule of any kind. I'm just trying to put out videos when I can, somewhat consistently, um, but that's just kind of where we're at right now. Um, this has kind of been the only time where I've felt like I've been, and, and another thing that's even on top of, you know, football school and everything else, and just being able to spend time with family too, um, I've been working on my master's degree. So, I mean, I have online classes and, and those take time too on Sunday for the most part, and yeah, just, this has actually been the only week where I've just kind of been able to just sit back and just do whatever. Um, me and Amber have taken the last couple of days and done like some Christmas light shopping, but that's been really it. Um, so yeah, that's where I've been. I, you know, it is what it is. I'm just, I, I, I just wanted to come, come out and say like, this is what's happened. There's more to it that, you know, will be explained I'm sure in later videos. I mean, I've made a lot of drastic changes in these last uh, couple of months, even. Uh, I changed my diet. Uh, I'm actually, um, I haven't eaten meat in, since about early August. Um, I've actually uh, went all vegetarian and have lost a bunch of weight, too. Um, you guys probably wouldn't be able to tell, but like I've, I've lost almost 40 pounds. And so that was another huge change that um, I know a lot of people that know me made that change uh, and made it for my health um, because I was, I, I was feeling very unhealthy um, at a certain point. And so I wanted to make a change uh, to my diet permanently. And I've not really looked back and, and people, that, people think I'm crazy for not eating meat. Um, they really do. And, you know, and, and I can understand because I had, you know, I ate meat for 28 years of my life. Um, and have been doing this diet now for almost four months and I absolutely love it. Um, I don't, I don't regret it at all. So, but it's been better for my health. I just, I just feel better. So, um, anyway, but I mean, well, I'm sure we'll talk about that at later times. And I know that's a lot to dissect in this video, um, just because of where I've been and I've been absent and 
I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the comment section of this video just to say hey once again and I'm just I'm coming back I feel like I, I kind of left off on a weird note and we're just gonna have to go with it and it's gonna be weird for a while but we're just gonna just gonna do it so I just want to thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving day uh, Thanksgiving day 2020 so um, just wanted to say thank you guys for always, uh, I'm, I'm thankful for you guys still being able to watch the channel. So just wanted to say, you know, big thank you out there to you guys and hope you guys have a safe, uh, Thanksgiving day and, and weekend and following days for that. Um, and we'll see you guys here in the next video. Mr. Football out. Perfect.